All right, what's up everybody? It's been a while since I've done a solo video or stream. Uh, we are back at Marvel Champions. I'm excited to do it again. Um, we did a whole spin the wheel thing. If you want to see that, we do that on the Discord. We are doing She-Hulk versus Sandman. Uh, we are uh, first time playing with her, so we're doing her pre-con deck. Um, the random account, uh, random scenario was Hope Summers, so we got Hope Summers out here. Um, we're still setting up slightly. I'm also forgetting this. I need to set that up. I haven't done this for a while. Bear with me here a second. Here we go. Is my health at 15? And Sandman's is at 16. Alright. Like I said, we're doing a group we're doing um standard. Or whatever. Set up the first player controls Hope Summers. Hope Summers does not count against your ally limit. Hope Summers base thwart and base attack are equal to the thwart and attack of your hero. Cool. Let's get a good shuffle in here. Here, let's see. Hapless pedestrians. Say I want to experience city in chaos. Did that standard encounter sets? Search the encounter deck for city streets. Remember, put it into play. Place four sand counters on it. Okay. After an accelerated token is placed on the scheme, deal three indirect damage to the first player. After an acceleration token, okay. Starts with two, one per player. Okay, let's look at city streets here, the environment. Surge and sand, special place, one sand counter here. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck equal to the number of. Wait, is this a flip over thing? No, it's not. Okay. Place one sand counter here. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck equal to the number of sand counters here. Hero action. Exhaust the character you control. Remove sand counters from here equal to that character's attack. Okay. And then let's look at Sandman Stage 1. One scheme, two attack, Sandblast, force interrupt. When Sandman attacks you, that attack deals indirect damage. If your in identity takes if your identity takes any amount of damage from this attack, resolve the surging sand's ability on the city. Indirect damage. Shoot, I always forget what indirect damage is. Let's see here. It says in that attack deals indirect damage. Does indirect indirect damage work? Indirect damage can be assigned to characters you control in any way you like up to that 
Characters remain hit points. It also doesn't trigger defense events, generally speaking, as it isn't targeting a charger with an attack. Okay. Let's shuffle his stuff then. He's got a really small one, which isn't good. See how well I can remember to play this. Let's see, start hand in size is six. Got Hellcat, Helicarrier, Strength, Uppercut, Alright, we got a lot of stuff going on here. I will flip She-Hulk over. And discard Strength. And Uppercut to pull it out Helicarrier. Without Sally Carrier, choose a player, reduce the resource cost of the next card that player plays this phase by one. I will play that. Discard Hellcat to put out Superhuman Strength. She Hulk gets plus two attack, which means Hope Summer gets plus two attack. Okay. Hope Summers will attack for five. Where's my little thing? Making an eleven. Or how, how how do I does this go? Oh, response. After you change this field form to do two damage to an enemy. Okay. So it's, oh no no. It's one. Um, I'll exhaust her to remove sands from there. Okay. Um, I will. I don't know. I'll discard that. Drop to four. Attack team. Power of aggression. Genius. Attack team again. Whew, I should get that. Well, this might be decent, maybe. Okay. Everything gets readied up. This will go up to three. Sandblast. Force interrupt. When Sandman attacks you, that attack deals indirect damage. If your identity takes any amount of damage from that attack, resolve the surge in Sand's ability on city streets. Let's forget like indirect damage. Do I have to split that? Page Should really look up the new rules though, huh?
will assign indirect damage a character cannot be assigned more indirect damage than would cause it to be defeated. Okay. So Hope Summers and I would get hit. Because there's no point in blocking it, because Right? Oh, oh, for that. Yeah, we have to see how much it does. So two plus two for four. So can I block that? If I want to? Can you block indirect damage like that? I don't know. I don't think so. So that'll be four, two for each of us. Three, and then what say? If your identity takes any amount of damage from that attack, resolve the surge in Sand's ability on this place one. Sand counter here. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck equal to the number of sand counters here. So there's one. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck. One. Okay. Now bad card is now or never peril. While you are resolving this card, other players can help you. One reveal, choose place one acceleration token on the main scheme, exhaust the character you control, and spend one resource of any type. Hmm. I will. Exhaust She Hulk. And spend one resource of any type. Cool. Energy. Cool. Now it's my turn. Not much to do here, sadly. Um, use Helicarrier, Power Regression, to do Tag Team, three counters, Exhaust Tag Team, and remove one attack counter from it, deal two damage to an enemy. So I need Exhaust. And three counters. Well, I will play it now. It's deal two damage to Sandman. And I hope Summers will deal five more damage. Two. Hmm. Yeah, I'll stay in this form. Okay, ready up. Whoa. Two, three, four, legal practice. Huh? Okay, so this will go up to four. He's going to swing for two. Can you block indirect damage? Let's ask old Reddick. Reddit. I'm just going to take it, because that, everything says I can't defend it. So 2 plus 2 equals 4, and 
according to the rules, Hope Summers can't be defeated by indirect damage, so she doesn't take any, so the, all four comes to She-Hulk. Where's my thing? Is that working? Yeah, it's working. Cool. Um, and then what's happening? Identity, this goes up to two. Discard two of these. One, two. Cool. Bad card is... Ooh, it's a scheme. It's tidal waves. One reveal, place X additional threat here, where X is equal to the number of sand counters on city streets. Two. I feel like I should have this like this, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Now it's my turn. Discard this to put Tenacity up there. Spend a strength resource and discard this card. Ready your hero. This is an upgrade, so that just sits right there. Um, I will use Tag Team to bring Sam in down to zero. Let's get rid of him. Run or reveal to resolve the Surgeon Sand's ability on city streets. Place one sign encounter. Sand can here. One, two, three. Oh, we got rid of Shadows of the Past. That's good. But now we will. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um. Can't do anything else. Actually, I'm going to do this, take this back, ah, shoot, no. Get rid of Tigra. Oh, and Sand Man's health does go up to 18 now. I exhaust Hope Summers to get rid of the Sand Counters. Risk it for the business. Okay. Hope Summers will attack for five. You can see him in down to 13. She Hulk will attack for five. Bring him down to eight. And now Superhuman Strength has to go away. After she hulk attacks, discard superhuman strength, stun the attacked enemy. So he's stunned. And then I will spend a strength resource and discard this card. Ready your hero. I'll swing again for three. Bring that down to five. That's all I can do this turn. Cool, so this will go up no wait, this will go up to five. Five, he would attack, but he's stunned. Stun goes away. And then back card. Two back cards. First one is now or now, never.
Wonder Wheel choose. Place one acceler acceleration token on the main scheme. Exhaust the character you control and spend one resource of any type. Exhaust what? Any go. Oh. I'll take the acceleration token. Maybe what? Force response after an acceleration token is placed on the scheme, deal three indirect damage to the first player. That's fine. Okay, I'm down to six now. Next back card is Rhino Steady. Steady characters require two status cards of the same type to be stunned or confused. Rhino's attacks gain overkill and piercing. Cool, he does not have tough or guard. So now it's my turn. And we should have this in the bag. Because we'll remove tag team. I'll deal two damage to him. For three. Hope Summers will attack for three. Bring down to zero. She Hulk will attack. Negative three. Um, use red. Destroy this. Do Gamma Slam. Deal X damage to the enemy to a maximum of 15. X is the amount of damage you have sustained. Sustained, I believe, is how much I have left over. So I have six. So nine damage. Am I correct? So. Can't do math. Negative 12. I don't know if I did that right, but that was fast and easy. Hmm. She Hulk isn't, isn't too bad. It really helped with Hope Summers, though. Matching whatever she had. That one was the cakewalk. That indirect damage, though. Oofta. Alright, well, I know that, that was pretty short. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Please hit that subscribe and like button, and we'll check you out next time. Peace out.